and egg age, again, is the strongest determining factor for reproductive outcomes. Sperm is produced throughout the, the entire lifespan. So that's how Richard Gere, Hugh Hefner, everybody's having babies in their 70s and 80s. But really egg quantity and quality is fine. I elected to freeze eggs at age 33. Um, I got married at age 25. I'm still married to my significant other that I froze my eggs um, with at 33. But for me, I felt like freezing eggs was a way for me to protect my fruit. And so for me, I felt like the egg was the most blank slate. It was something I was doing for myself to protect myself and my fertility. And I you never know what the future's gonna hold. I am very happily married and in a good situation, but you never know what tomorrow is going to bring. And I wanted to make sure those eggs were something that I personally could use at any point in the future. I would say, again, if you're thinking about fertility preservation, Usually in your early 30s is a good range at age 25. Hopefully you're young enough that you're never going to need it. But this is time to engage with a reproductive endocrinologist, get your ovarian reserve testing done. That's to understand if you have a lot of eggs left, a medium amount or a small amount, and then have a discussion with them about your family building goals and how that egg supply goes into your family building goals. And the real question is, are we preserving embryos versus eggs or a combination of the two? You know, if you have someone that is a designated partner that you're like, I'm having a baby with this human or I'm having no babies at all, then absolutely have their sperm assessed. Do your pre-pregnancy genetic screening so that you understand if you're at risk of having 25% of your offspring affected with a genetic illness or something if you both carry the same gene mutation. And do that um, testing and discussion in a personalized way with the doctor so that you get the right treatment, the right recommendations for you.